Good evening. The shark attack at Okayama Beach has left one of the south coast's most promising young surfers with severe injuries, losing a significant portion of his thigh. After a wave had just gone over the top of him, I heard this blood-curdling scream for help. It was this realisation that my worst nightmares are really coming to, to fruition, like right in front of me, and I'm watching it and I can't do anything about it. His face was lifeless, basically. That just said it all for me. And this is the most profound moment, the feeling of, you know, is this what it feels like to die? I never wanted to be defined by the incident or remembered as the guy that got attacked by a shark. I want to be remembered for what I did afterwards. As I sit at the start of my biggest physical challenge so far, I'm reminded of everything that I've overcome, not only physically but mentally as well. And I can reflect on those as well as the attitude and the mindset that's gotten me to this point and you know, the idea that you don't fail by aiming too high and missing, but we fail by aiming too low and hitting. The thing about Molokai is it's a body of water that stands alone and I suppose that's what makes it the Super Bowl of paddling really out there. Yeah, he's got a, a task ahead of him. I think if there's anyone that's built for it, it's him.